To say that he lived a remarkable life would be an understatement. Diosdado Dado Banata was not only a trailblazer in business and technology. He was a man whose success translated into meaningful change for countless lives. The Filipino-American tech innovator passed away on Christmas Day in Stanford, California, due to complications from a neurological disorder later in his life. He was 79. Often called the Bill Gates of the Philippines, Banatao carved out a legacy entirely his own, built on perseverance, innovation, and service to the community. He grew up poor in Igi Cagayan Valley province. His father was a farmer, his mother a housekeeper. He walked to school barefoot, driven by a belief that education was his way out of poverty. That determination led him to graduate cum laude in electrical engineering from Mapua Institute of Technology. Banatao later reflected on his passion for engineering in the 2020 film A Farmer's Son. I wanted to build things, but when I graduated from Mapua, there were no design jobs for engineers in the Philippines. So I moved to America. I applied for a master's in engineering at Stanford University. I was excited, but I was also so intimidated. Everyone seemed smarter than I was. So I studied twice as hard. I saw an opportunity to design better computer chips, and I started a company. That company failed. No one told me that I could do it. I had to tell myself that I could, and so I tried it again. This time, we succeeded. That perseverance helped usher in the era of the personal computer. In the 1980s, Banatao pioneered the PC chipset and graphics acceleration architecture, technologies that remain foundational in virtually every personal computer today. Over the course of his career, he founded and led Silicon Valley companies, including Mostron, Chips and Technologies, S3 Graphics, and Tallwood Venture Capital. For these Philam community leaders, he was a mentor and an inspiration. The legacy of Dado Baratao will live on forever. Um, he has shown um, what truly uh, a person of his caliber is, and he will be dearly missed. Beyond his remarkable achievements in business and engineering lies a lasting legacy, his dedication to the Filipino-American community. Dellen considers Banatawa a great friend who was very generous with his time and guidance. When he learned early on years ago that my restaurant enterprise was having problems. He invited the entire investment te investor team to his home to talk about the challenges and finding solutions. One week later, he called to follow up on the action items, only for me to learn that he was calling from China. Then when we launched, relaunched the business, I invited him to be the guest speaker. And he cut short a scheduled golf game in Carmel, flew his plane back to San Francisco to be in time for the celebration. Such was Dado's dedication. Rudel Rodi says Banatao was all about empowering the community, especially in government. I first met Dado uh, after I was uh, appointed to the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission in 1988. And uh, I became president of that commission for two terms, and Dado um, congratulated me for that appointment. The first major commission a Filipino-American was appointed to in San Francisco. And um, two years later, I ran for the BART board seat, and um, Dado was one of the first to uh, send me $500 uh, for my campaign. Uh, that was the maximum allowed, but his wife, Maria, also sent a check. Banatao's love of country remained, even as he was making an impact in his adopted land. 
He and his wife Maria founded the Philippine Development or Phil Dev Foundation in 2011 to help fight poverty and uplift communities in the Philippines, especially through education. PhilDev provides scholarships, mentorships, and training programs to help young Filipinos excel in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. We imagine the Philippines where every school has internet, where deserving students are given scholarships so they never have to stop learning, where thousands of young Filipinos start companies that hire millions more. His legacy reminds us that when one of us rises, we lift many others with us. His family took the time to thank the community for all their messages of support and prayers in a website dedicated to his memory. Henny Espinosa, Billionaire News Channel, San Francisco.